Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Wednesday, March 8th, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1104 day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Wednesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Bet, value, memory, tense, uh, raw, and net? There's a net? Oh yeah, there is a net behind home plate. <laughs> sort of protecting the stands. Ramen. Soup. Kind of a noodle soup. Interesting clue on a loan. The Rubik Cube reference. Nice little groaner pun there. Nice. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Miranda Caney today. Or Connie, maybe. Here is your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Can you see this? Note, the circle letters reading clockwise, starting in box number four, reveal what the answers to the nine italicized clues have in common. All right. I wonder if we'll need that, but I think that, that's rememberable enough. Anyway, let's see what uh, Miranda Caney has in store for us. Let's get into it. Prefix, this is eco. Their blood is toxic to human. Maybe it's emus or something? Sporty model, a coop. One small red minced for crush, for crunch and tang. Onion? That's E on there, just eels. Wind or wind? Ish. Or so? Add value to enrich. Lunch that saves the day, question mark. Okay, let's go back here. Great cleverness and three cloves minced for depth and aroma. I guess that's garlic. Eli Whitney. Gist. Apple for a teacher, maybe. Reverse a thumbs up for on Facebook. Is it unlike? I'm not sure. Slink. Okay. Junior Hurdle. It's PSAT, I think. Ghostly Apparition. One teaspoon, pink or black. Pilgrim at Mecca. This is a Haji, right? Tino Martinez? Chester Arthur. Middle name. Chester A. Arthur, right? Um, Phantom here. Revelers, these are alumni. The rub. Okay. One half coarsely chopped. Cilantro. Salt. It's black salt. Hmm, okay. Oh, Alan? Tino? Maybe. This is or so, or with color or rhyme. In blank parenthesis. This is lace. Moonstruck star. No idea. Sidestep. And so. It's just dodge there. This is Kent. Seidel. Ribald and iMac. Genius. Okay. It was unlike. Color scheme or rhyme scheme. Talkative bird is a macaw. Serpentine. Maybe it's not a macaw then. Donnie Marie Osmond. Very cool. Pick up the tab. Just pay. Gnaw on. Dope. Edie's Muse. Wow, another talk to Ember. This is Euros. Fabulous Fabulist. Fabulous Fabulist. This is Liz Cheney. Written for an instrumentalist. Maybe it's notated. Cane's Rosebud is a sled. One small juiced. This is lime. We have a guacamole recipe. This is a meme. Um, mouse with his own island. This is jams. Jalapeno. Whoops. Really stare at us. Ogle. Ran for a butterfly expert, perhaps. This is nay. One half teaspoon. Maybe it's cumin. Mia ham. It's your move. Um, Evita here. This is mauve. 
marine fish. That's also the name of a hairstyle. Can make you sick. They can make you sick. Is this Regina? Is that in Saskatchewan? Ah, Nancy Drew's bow. This is tomato. At once. This is an Odist. Uh, a Mina Twisty. Asia Minor, I would put Ursa. Avocado. Hero. Era. Oahu and Cher. Uh, this is Tone Up. A Mullet. Speedo. Uh, germs to go. Okay. A bit. Alright. We've got a guacamole recipe. In like an interesting way. So the guacamole is circular, but not symmetrically so. It's supposed to evoke the shape of an avocado. I don't know. How many recipes do we, sorry, how many ingredients do we have? Nine. What they have in common. It's not really what they have in common. It's just what we've made. Anyway, we put a small red minced avocado, three cloves minced garlic, black salt. I guess there's black salt. There's definitely pink salt, like uh, you know Himalayan pink salt. There's also Himalayan black salt, apparently. I don't think I've ever used it, but let's see, that's three so far, right? Any more downs? There's cumin down here. That's four. Avocado, five. Jalapeno, six. Tomato, seven. Cilantro. Love cilantro. It's eight. And I'm, am I missing one? Yeah. I guess that's kind of cute doesn't seem to be, you know, it's not like it's wordplay or super surprising, but I do like guacamole. I actually just made guacamole the other day, I, and I used, I actually didn't put any tomato in there, but uh, did I not see nine ingredients? <laughs> A little bit slow today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh, they, they are... They're placed symmetrically. That's that's good. Lime. I also did put lime in there. So that, that's, that's a nice feature. That they're placed kind of randomly, but they are actually not. They're actually placed symmetrically. With the long ingredients like this. Yeah. I kind of wish this guacamole was more round, more regular, but yeah, all right. I think that's I think that's cute enough. Also makes me a bit hungry. Thought the the fill was a little tough, which is good. Maybe it's, this is what Wednesday level should be. Haji can be spelled with two J's as well. Also, D J I. Is that right? Whoops. Haji. Hmm. Looks like two J's or one J. Or or DJI. Yeah. Someone. A pilgrim on the Hodge. Chester Allen Arthur. Tino Martinez. I want a Tito. Is Tito Martinez someone? Okay, Tito Martinez. Tino Martinez is a former baseball player. But there is no Tito Martinez who is as famous. Okay. This is sort of a, a giveaway clue, but. It does describe cilantro and 
people's love or hate relationship with it. Loco parentis. Sounds familiar. In the place of a parent, I see. Acting in loco parentis. As I was saying, okay, got a three letter partial there. A Regina. I need to learn my Canadian geography better, I think. One time in college, I had a sporkle off with my Canadian friend, where he, uh, he tried to name all 50 states and I tried to name is it 11 or is it 10? 10 provinces and territories? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I missed more than he did. <laughs> I, he maybe missed only a couple. I missed maybe like three. 10 provinces, three territories. Yeah. So I think my, my knowledge of Canadian geography is like surprisingly bad, but sure. There's Saskatchewan with Regina. Now, that was a nice little misdirect. It's a uh, butterfly stroke. Nub. I was thinking, you know, like, I there's the rub. But sure. Yeah, I think this, um, we have Orso and Anso. Double so there. Cute little clone hero. Had a hard time getting it. But yeah, I think the cluing. There's like a lot of references to to trivia. It feels like. So I think it was it was slightly challenging. But that's not a bad thing, of course. Yeah, nice. I uh, I'm gonna go eat some guacamole after this. And it's a, it's a New York Times Crosser debut. Congratulations to you, Miranda, Kaney, or Connie, if you're watching this. Seems unlikely. Let me know how to pronounce it. Hope to see more from you in the future. That'll be, um, well, let's call it normal time for a Wednesday. Uh, but a, a pleasurable solve. Anyway, let's now uh, let's do the plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's like British mini crossword meets Wordle. So uh, if you enjoy those things, you might enjoy doing the plus word. Let's, uh, let's wait for this to load before we can... Here we go. Boyish, I'm nag. Anagram. Okay. Blunder. Just not sure. Exhausted. Everest. Mount? It's gaming at the top there. Inter. Needy. Um, on your Todd. This is a flute. Find and entry. All in. Blunder. Uh, gaff. Got quite a lot of letters here. So, maybe it's bland. What's bland? Feeling a bit bland today. <laughs> this was hard. Gaming. A street urchin. But also an adjective. Am I pronouncing this wrong? I've been saying gaming, but now I'm concerned. Let me click this. Gammon. <laughs> I was pronouncing it wrong. But also... Gamine? A small, playfully mischievous girl, or of relating to or suggesting a gam gamine. Yeah. Hard word. I don't know. I don't think I ever use that word, but... On your Todd, surely that's a Britishism. On one's own. 
I'm going to do something and not just sit here on my Todd in formal British. I kind of like that expression, though I've never heard it. Yeah, so tough little plus for today, I think. Anyway, before we go, last thing we do here is check the leaderboard for tomorrow's mini, where we've got Herman Chow in 16 seconds. Herman Chow, very consistent, very fast these days. Maybe, um, don't tell PB Gackner, but maybe my current greatest rival at the moment. And on the old secret leaderboard, we have Andrew Cabo Hat Emoji and Dlor. Shout out to both of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.